Hello YouTube. Let's see if I can keep recording. I just did like 10 minutes of talking and didn't record anything. I'm finishing up this project today here in Athens, New York. Uh, took all week work on this thing. Got everything done I needed to get done. Uh, there's a couple pieces not done yet. It's not there. So I'll be putting that in and I'm uh, going to be trimming this door out which we hadn't thought about. So that material's on the way now. I did get the soffit in. I uh, had an issue here with these cans. They were not put in a straight line. Fortunately, I was able to move them around. Look, electricians, mark one, mark the end, snap a line, and put your cans on a straight line. Will you? Uh, it would really, us carpenters would greatly appreciate that. Uh, I tried putting them, cutting short pieces and running them this way. I did about five courses, realized it wasn't going to work because the soffit and the wall are both out of whack. And, each piece would have had funky angles on it. It would have taken forever and still wouldn't have looked right. And I had barely enough pieces. So if I would have cut one piece wrong, it would have screwed the whole thing up. The soffit's so out of whack, you can see that bow. I had to put a piece of trim there. So it's the only piece of trim in the whole room. Everything else is nice and tight. Uh, you can see the windows are trimmed out. There's a header piece going across the top, which I love. This wall is bowed out. None of the windows were hung plumb or correct, really. And uh, the client did it with his son. He's a surfboard shaper, so we had a funny joke about that. He's like, my surfboards are perfect. And I had to point out to him, well, there's not a straight line in a surfboard, man. <laughs> I uh, did one nice piece of joinery here where this sill is actually mortised into this casing. A lot of guys just put the casing on, notch this around, and then that could easily snap off or be a problem. Now that is reinforced with an actual joint. This is just primed. Obviously, it's going to get filled. There's a little, little, little space right there, but that'll get be filled. You'll never see it. And I'm doing the fuller plug system. One screw in the center with a plug, with a wood plug. Maybe I'll show you how to do that in real time in a minute. I'm going to run one square piece that was the cutoff from these sills on the bottom. That's a four and a half inch deep sill. Um, let's just go ahead and jump right into that. Let's show you this. I do this without turning the camera off. Always a thing. Yeah. Okay. So this is my distance. I measure, measure center. This is your fuller kit. Comes in a nice wood box here. So they're counter sinks and then a plug cutter. It's real simple the way it works. Just so you remember me. <laughs> These are the plugs you uh, make on a scrap piece with the plug cutter. And then you will just use something to pry them out. I go across the grain. They tend to want to pop out easier that way. <clears throat> Next step is you just want to make yourself some type on to wood glue this is the stuff i like there's type on three type on three has a longer setup time uh but this has plenty of setup time for me i've never needed extra long uh, setup time you know what let's sink that screw a little bit more doesn't take much probably put too much in so there'll be some squeeze out here Make sure you line that so it's going with the grain. And you know, this is a nice set. It's a new set. I've been using this fuller system 
for over 25 years. <clears throat> I still have my original. And I just bought this new system last week. Uh, mine was getting pretty spent. I mean, the plug cutters aren't sharp anymore, and the, the set screws are worn out from the Allen key. And you know. So your next step with that would be, I might as well try to show you that too. Let's see here, let's bring you over to a plug I did a little bit ago. This glue, the beauty of the glue is, in 20 minutes, you can be set up and be working. So let's see if I can do this whole thing for you in real time. <clears throat> Didn't plan on doing this, so. Now normally I have a saw at home where I took the set off, so I'm gonna try not to scratch this, uh, the top of this sill here. See, that's what you do is you trim that, and you take a sharp chisel, and you just kind of shave that off. Now, that went a little low there. I'm going to have to feather that out a little. You have to be careful. Sometimes you get the grain wrong, and it could pull up. And this probably isn't as sharp as it should be. I've been using it on this trip. But yeah, that's basically what you do. And then you just need a sanding block better that yeah, and that's that <clears throat> so when the finish goes on yeah that'll look kind of look like a professional did it and that's just nicer than nails and nail filler there are two long nails underneath the, uh, these, uh, the casing on either side of the window going down into the sill. So it's, it's well set. I'm just putting a screw center on every window uh, just for some extra strength, uh, stability sort of thing. But that's it. <clears throat> now you know how the fuller drill bit system works. It's pretty neat. Uh, you can use contrasting wood if you want things to pop. And it's a nice way to finish things off. You've seen me use it on other projects. Um, by the way, if you go on Amazon or some other place online and try to buy it, it's, it's, they're costly. If you call Fuller directly, it's the best price. I got two of them, and they actually gave me a good deal on it that way, and I didn't expect that. So that was really nice, too, and I had it within two days, two, three days. So i uh, real stoked about that. Just go to Fuller directly, and I'll show you that box one last time. Made in the USA. Pretty sweet. I don't know what this kit is called. This uh, no, this one, you know, set. There it is. That's probably the set number right there. So if you want to screenshot this and then uh, send them a picture or ask them about it, you can order one. I think they're like 120 bucks a pop. Anyhow, that's it. Have a good day. Be good to each other. Stay tuned. The next video is probably going to have some van content. Hopefully it will be in my buddy's pad and we'll be doing the bumpers and whatnot. Bye.